officials from the U.S., the Ministry of Health and other key players of the Global Health Initiative witnessed the signing today of a letter of intent confirming that the U.S. and Uganda's commitment to reduce maternal death rates, which currently stand at 435 per 100,000 baths. According to the Global Health Initiative Director Louis Com, the U.S. remits $400 million to Uganda every year to help strengthen the health care system but warned government against diverting the grant. The United States will not tolerate corruption in global health. These dollars that the American people put forward to invest in global health in Uganda must be, se must be spent to save lives. According to statistics, 50% of all pregnancies are unintended, resulting in the deaths of around 16 Ugandan mothers each day. The U.S. government spends $63 billion on the initiative worldwide, but Uganda takes the highest share. However, there is still a lot to be done on the side of government, according to Luis. Uh, when I was in Chenjojo and Kabaroli uh, these past days, I heard stories of women who just couldn't find transport to get to a health center. We have also recently acquired a World Bank loan of 130 million US dollars that will facilitate the remodeling and rehabilitation of health infrastructure. Statistics also indicate that 29 babies under one month out of every 1,000 die as a result of poor antenatal care during pregnancy and after birth. To avert this challenge, the Global Health Initiative is striving to bring these figures down by 50 percent across four western districts by the end of this year. When a mother bleeds to death, a nation bleeds. Although the U.S. President Barack Obama's mission is to ensure they help countries save lives and strengthen health systems in order to build a greater nation tomorrow, critics here say that if Uganda does not fight corruption, his dream, which is shared by other women here, will not be realized. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.